We've used the magic wand tool to cut out the blue bit and position the traffic lights. And you'll have noticed when you dragged it across, a new layer was created. So you have the background layer and layer one. And just like in Illustrator, you can hide the visibility of layers. So I can turn the visibility on and off. OK, I'm going to have a look now at the road sign. And we're going to have a look at one of the lasso tools. I'm going to look at the polygonal lasso tool. And the polygonal lasso tool is useful when you've got quite geometric shapes, angular shapes, straight sided shapes to select. Maybe a bit like this. Now, a lot of the icons, annoyingly, in Photoshop are sort of pictorial. Um, and it's difficult to know where the accurate bit is, which bit is the, the tip of the arrow, as it were. So a little tip is to press the caps lock key and it becomes a target. So now I can see where I want to click, if I want to click close, because otherwise it's very difficult to know where to go, particularly with this icon. It's caps lock key. And I'm going to start at the top on the edge and we're going to do a single click. And what happens is when you move the mouse, having released the button, a line extends from it and it pivots from that point. So I just need to line that up with the edge and do another single click and it pivots again from that point. So it's one of the simpler tools to use and each time you click it changes direction. So I can go all the way around clicking wherever I want to change direction. Obviously this sign is a little bit curved on the corners so we just have to do it fairly angular. And then go all the way back to where you started and you see the icon change and have a little circle by it which means it's joining it as a whole. And then, again, change to the Move tool. I'll just move my skyscraper image across so we can see it. Back on my road sign. And with the Move tool, click somewhere inside the area I've selected, and I can drag it across onto my street scene. And resize it with the handles if I want. Again, having ticked Show Transform Controls if needed. And then remember at the top right, click the tick to commit to the transformation if you've resized it. Okay. So polygonal lasso tool this time. So in the third set down, the polygonal lasso tool. Single click, each time you single click it will pivot and change direction. So have a go with that one now. <laughs> 